Introducing the Sterngold AEU-1070-70V Implant Motor System. Package contents include the console, hand motor, motor holder, tubing set, multifunction foot control, product manual, and irrigation bag hanger, plus the power cord. Loading the pump mechanism is very easy. To release the door Press forward on the, this black tab and gently open the door to its open position. Take the first inline connector and set it inside the top slot of the pump door. Gently guide the tubing down with your finger, bend it around so that it comes out the slot at the bottom of the pump door. Once it's loaded, firmly press the door closed until the latching mechanism engages. When the console is powered on, the unit will self-calibrate, will show a software version, and will go to the operating screen. The operating screen consists of five essential parts. The first one is speed, the second one is torque, the third one is water flow, forward and reverse, of the system as well as preset selection. The system has four factory set presets. To choose between them, simply press the preset section to go from pilot to start to final to reverse and back to pilot. Adjusting the unit is very easy using the touchscreen. To adjust the speed, simply press the speed section of the operating screen. Use the up and down arrows to increase or decrease the speed. Once the adjustment is made, press the speed section again to return to the operating screen. To adjust the torque, press the torque section of the operating screen to get into the torque adjustment screen. Use the up and down arrows to increase or decrease torque. To return to the operating screen, simply press the torque section again. To adjust the water flow to the handpiece, press the water section of the operating screen. Use the arrows to increase or decrease the water supply, and then press the water section again to return to the operating screen. To change the direction of the hand motor or micromotor, simply press the adjustment section on the operating screen to either forward or reverse. As mentioned, the unit includes four factory presets. These are reprogrammable by the user in a very simple way. Simply select the parameter that you wish to change, go into that parameters adjustment screen. You'll notice that the preset begins to flash because the unit is expecting the user to make an adjustment. In this particular example, we will decrease the speed, go back to our operating screen. The preset is still flashing. If I wish to save it into memory at this point, I will just press and hold until an audible beep is heard. At this point, the current operating screen will be reflected on that preset. If the user wishes to return to factory defaults, simply press the torque section of the operating screen. Press and hold the cal section of the adjustment screen until a beep is heard. The unit will ask for confirmation of recalling factory settings. Press this section until a beep is heard. The longer beep will indicate that the unit has been reset to factory settings. Go back to the operating screen and the original settings will be restored. To ensure accuracy between the settings on the display and the burr, this unit includes handpiece calibration. In order to run that test, simply press the torque section of the operating screen and quickly press the cal button. The handpiece will begin to rotate from low speed to high speed, sending mechanical performance information back to the motor so that it may adjust itself, again, so that the speed and torque that one sees on the screen will be accurate at the burr. Once the cowl stops flashing, the testing is complete.
return to the operating screen by pressing the torque section of the display. This unit is compatible with 20 to 1 reduction handpieces for implant drilling and placement. It's also compatible with a 1 to 1 handpiece for basic oral surgery procedures. To change the handpiece ratio, press the speed section of the display to go into the speed adjustment screen. Press the ratio selection area to switch between 20 to 1 or 1 to 1. At 20 to 1, the selectable speed is 15 RPM up to 2000 RPM. At 1 to 1, the selectable speed is between 1000 RPM and 40,000 RPM displayed in scientific notation where E3 equals 1000. So in this example, the motor and the burr will be rotating at 24,000 RPM. To return to the operating screen, independent of the selected handpiece, just press the speeds section again to revert to the operating screen. The included multifunction foot pedal replaces the need to adjust the unit manually during a procedure. The blue pedal is variable speed control between zero and the set speed on the display. The orange button will cycle through the memory positions. The yellow button will switch between forward and reverse. The green button will turn the irrigation pump on and off. When the pump is on and the button is pressed and held, it will cycle through the irrigation levels. Notice that the preset is flashing at this point because we've gone off the original memory setting. The purple button is a torque adjustment, where if pressed one time, the torque will increase by two newton centimeters. The user can go five steps of two, or 10 total, before reverting back to the original torque setting. 